ads that look like ads don't always work. And I want you to think about that. Have you seen some of your advertising campaigns and said, hmm, thought this would have done really well. But when you looked at where you ran it, maybe it just didn't look natural to the platform you were on? Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zavolinski, and this week on Hard Facts, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. How natural or native ads are going to increase your advertising success. So what are native ads? Well, they're ads that follow the natural format of the website or the platform that you are on. So some really great ways you can utilize native ads are going to be, let's say you're a skincare brand. And let's say you have a great article that talks about the seven ways to fight winter dryness for your skin. Well, what you're trying to promote is your skincare line, but through this, you're promoting a resource article, you're promoting a blog post, maybe you're working with an affiliate. Let's say you have this article run on a website like BuzzFeed. What's going to happen is you're going to have a number of different ad sets that are going to create an ad on this website based on the formatting of the site. So in other words, you create an image, you create a headline, you create some description test, text, excuse me, and then based on the website that you're on, it fills all of that information in the correct format. On websites, you commonly will see this information as sponsored content or partner content, but 40% of websites don't label it correctly because the FTC doesn't come after them. So sometimes you're not even, the website that you're advertising on isn't declaring, hey, this is sponsored content, which works to your advantage because now it looks even more organic than that native ad does to begin with. And that's just another great example of how you can make and have a natural conversation or perceived natural conversation with your audience. Utilizing native ads makes sure that your audience and your content match one another. So keep that in mind. If you're a beauty brand, you wanna make sure you're not running this ad, for example, on a video game website because your audiences aren't going to parallel with each other. Sure, there'll be some overlap, but again, make sure the content of your native ad matches the content of the audience of the websites that you're going to display on. And it's a great way to get people over to your website as a first point of contact or a point of sale. What I mean by that is make sure you have things like retargeting on your website. So once those individuals leave, if they don't purchase the first time, you can show them a spe special offer or you could show them a testimonial to bring them back in the funnel and sell them on your product. So it's all about execution as well. So remember, how do you get out there? How do you do this? Well, you have to find an ad exchange that allows you to run native ads through its platform. So do a search, find multiple providers out there. Yahoo, for example, has a Gemini program that will allow you to run native ads, but you need to find out what the right platform is going to be to support your audience. And that's just an example of what this week's hard facts is to help you see more ROI for your business.